here. Hi, are you anxious or worried about something? I sure am. I'm worried about something really big right now. What are you worried about? The future. It looks really scary to me. And there's so many things I can't control. And it seems like the things, the bad things that are happening right now, that they'll never end. Oh, I have to agree. The future looks pretty scary to me too. You know, I wish there was a way that we could learn how not to be anxious about things like that. That would be great. Hey, I wonder if Professor Discovery could help us out with that. You know what? I'll bet he can. He's pretty smart. Let's head over to his lab and ask him. Great idea. Hi, Professor Discovery. Gee, you guys look really worried. What's going on? Well, we are really worried about the future, and we thought maybe you could help us not be. Hmm. Worried about the future. You know? I think I have a great experiment for that. But let's start by reading a scripture. Okay. Philippians 4, 6 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. So, if you give your worries to God, He'll help you out. Now, let's get busy by doing the experiment. That'd be great! So, Miss Kim, would you like to crumple up the newspaper? Okay. The newspaper... The newspaper represents us when we're anxious or worried. When we're worried, we get all twisted up in knots. We get so caught up in our worries that we tend to forget that God is here to help us. Miss Penny, would you hand me this jar? Sure. Now, let's say this jar represents God. And we put ourselves in the covering of God. Now, imagine this bowl of water represents your fears of the future. The, the newspaper never got wet. What? How did you do that? I didn't do anything. It's God's protection wrapped around you that keeps you from having to worry about everything. So in other words, we should worry about nothing and pray about everything. That's perfect. Just like every time, God has the answers for our situation. He sure does. Thanks, Professor Discovery. You're welcome. We'll see you next time.